costumes, music makers, the Mass Canoe Parade took place yesterday evening. The Grace Bay streets were blocked off by police just for the special event, as residents and tourists alike enjoyed the new experience. A party for everyone, friends and families all came out to share in the cultural event. Well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm pleased to be out this evening with, um, with my children, uh, because for a very long time, it's been um, a concern of a, a whole lot of us about our culture. Um, we look around, we're just watching Bahamas last night with their, um, their parade, Junk Canoe, and um, we've been losing our culture for quite some time. And so I'm excited to be here this evening anticipating um, a return of our, our culture, um, anticipating um, the colors and the, um, the, the parade, and, and to, to just see the, the, um, the revitalization of what is known to us in Turks and Caicos as masquerade. And so I'm anticipating that this evening and hoping that this will be the beginning of, um, of the renewal of all of our culture because I believe that that is what tourists come to see. They come to see what is unique to Turks and Caicos. And we want to pass on our culture to our generation likewise. And so I'm anticipating that this evening, a return of our culture. Well, I think the Mass Canoe is a really great event that's come to Turks and Caicos. It's um, a good way for us to showcase our culture and our talents. And especially on the Great Space Strip, it's, um, it's very accessible to us as well as all the people that we are visiting in this, in this busy time. So I think it's a great showcase. I think that a lot of our people, especially the little ones, are going to be exposed to our culture and are going to gonna, gonna get more into it. I'm going to love it. And I'm glad that it's happening. And I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it happening a lot more years to come. I mean, for first time in Dustin Gagas, it's okay, but they we just need more of the costumes. I'm still ready to see the costumes, the bass drum, though the heart of Moscow is really about bass drum. Because the Nassau, you know, without without the drum, Moscow can't be Moscow. So it's waiting for the, for the big drums to come, and everybody can feel it. Let's feel it, let's feel it. I think it's great. So it was a great idea. It makes me feel like I'm back home with Bahamas. You the event started at 5 p.m. and went on until 11 p.m. There were performances by Junkanoo groups. There was live ripsaw and local bands. The highlight of the event was the Mass Canoe Parade. There was also a food and drink tent, arts and crafts tables, the event ended with a firework display. News 4 spoke to head organizer of the event, also a participant in the evening's performances, to ask him if he felt the event was a success. I am sure by your footage. What can I say? Can I say anything? Yes, it is! Bowen stated that Mass Canoe has been an event that was planned since last year. Well, you know, we couldn't do it last year. This whole thing we're planning now for almost two years in the making. So I must thank everybody on the committee, um, Karen Witt, um, Cesar Campbell, Romwell International, Nakia, and Chanel, um, everyone involved. Uh, we, we were so concerned this morning, but all our fears are out the door. Of course, the question on everyone's mind, will there be a mask new next year? I think next year's going to be better, and there are some things I want to do better. We need a little bit more tightness in our organization, but you see, we're on time. I'm a time man, so... And uh, I think that uh, we can have a lot more vendors, a lot more food and stuff, and a lot more groups. This year, folks didn't really know what to expect, so they were kind of timid. I think now they know we're going to have a lot more things happening next year.